Welcome back everyone and prepare to be bedazzled because today we're going to be searching the depths of Amazon, the bowels of Amazon for stellar deals on Halo action figures. So without further ado, without further delay, let's allow the frivolities and antics to ensue. Here we go. The search has commenced. Thus far we stumbled upon a 6.5 inch action figure of Master Chief derived from the Spartan collection. He subsumed under the um, newly released Spartan collection action figure line. He has eight interchangeable hands, or four sets of interchangeable hands. He comes with a couple armaments, as well as um, in-game DLC for um, Halo Infinite. In spite of his merits, I just cannot vindicate spending $20 plus sales tax on him, especially when I already have the McFarlane Toys. Master Chief action figure on the Joe Studios. Master Chief action figure. So... As meticulously detailed and as much of a high quality figure as this figure is, I'm just gonna vindicate splurging on buying this figure for twenty dollars plus sales tax or even seventeen sixteen plus sales tax used. We have a couple action figures derived from the um Halo Infinite action figure line turned out by Jazzwares. They stand around fortune stall. They're part of a one eighteen's action figure scale, presumably. Um, I just gonna vindicate paying ten dollars plus sales tax for another Master Chief action figure. When you count for the grand total, which would be close to twenty two dollars, and then you divvy it up by the quantity of figures on the lot, you're able to ascertain that you're paying close to eleven dollars per um four inch figure in this context if you buy the um pack. So that's a pass. Next we have the Spartan Mark um seven, I believe. I would have preferred if he had a weathering effect. It would have rendered him all the more ineffably epic. He does come with um a myriad of hands. For some peculiar reason, he comes with seven hands in lieu of um, eight. He comes with a couple armaments, um, an in-game redeemable code for Halo Infinite. He stands roughly 6.5 inches tall. I love his sculpt. I'd be inclined to buy him at around the um, $12 plus sales tax price point. But at twenty two dollar at twenty dollars plus sales tax, almost twenty two dollars. Even if you're an avid about avowed Halo fan, um it's a hard um sale in my opinion. Especially when you're accustomed to procuring action figures for eight dollars plus sales tax that are deemed to be high quality, extraordinary, robust, meticulously detailed action figures with high quality shadings, sculpts, aesthetics textures, designs, details, and that also have ample points of articulation, such as the 8-hour Tobias Marvel Legends action figures that not only were sporting 32 to 40 points of articulation, but that also came bundled with a comic book, as well as a build-a-figure piece from a meticulously detailed behemoth of a 14 to 16-inch build-a-figure. Furthermore, if you recollect, the DC Universe Classics action figures initially retailed for $8, they also came bundled with a build-a-figure piece. Moving on, we have um, some UNSC Marine figures for ten dollars plus sales tax each. Even though one of them isn't sporting or isn't utilizing a visor, I would still say go for this um, if you need more um, UNSC Marine figures. Because if you buy the McFarland Toys figures now in the second market, it's going to cost you far more than ten dollars plus sales tax for a UNSC Marine figure. Are they the quintessential UNSC Marine figures? I do not believe so, but they are deemed high quality figures nonetheless. Especially for four inch action figures or three point seven five inch action figures. Out of all the um packs as far, the three pack is deemed the most compelling. You get two grunts. They seem to have um, scales on their arms. 
they have texture details to get a couple grunts and an elite with some armaments one is wielding a needler the lead is wielding an energy sword and um the grunt is presumably wielding let's see what he's wielding it's a listed maybe on the packaging a disruptor we have a grunt assault figure an elite mercenary figure and a grunt conscript figure This is probably the best um, army builder set. If you're looking to pay um, under $10 for a McFarlane Toys army builder figure of a grunt fig of a grunt character or of a covenant character, um, you're more than likely struggle to find a lot on eBay that um, may set criterion of under $10 per um, iniquitous Halo figure in a lot. We have another three pack here. I did not know why those grunts don't have skills on their forearms, but they don't seem to be as high quality as the other grunt figures. So, even with Elite Warlord, this um, three pack is a pass. I don't want my figures to be characterized by insipid. Mediocrity, especially if I'm going to pay close to ten dollars plus sales tax per figure, which is about twenty-five percent more than the retail price of an eight dollar Tobias Marvel Legends action figure. They can bundle with a comic book and a build a figure piece. We have the brute captain with some mangler. He also comes, you know, bundled with DLC. Does he have a jetpack? I don't believe so. I would. Advise buying that for ten dollars plus sales tax if you're a hardcore Halo fan. If Halo piques your interest, tickles your fancy, and appeals to you, then you won't go wrong buying the army builder figures for around ten dollars plus sales tax, especially if they're deemed to be high quality army builder figures that are meritorious, extraordinary, robust, and meticulously detailed. We have Jerome from Halo Wars two. He's derived from the Spartan collection. He stands roughly six point five inches tall. He looks like he's bought all hardened. He looks like he's ready and ready to enter the fray and make one final stand against his adversaries. Again, he comes with um, seven um, hands, a couple armaments, but for 4201 plus sales tax, close to um, 44, close to 46 dollars. It's um, a pass lamentably. But for twenty dollars plus sales tax, it is an upgrade over the McFarland Toys Jerome action figure because it's closer to seven inches instead of around five inches. Um I would possibly consider buying it for around fifteen dollars, but I wouldn't want to go much higher than that. As much as I love the um Halo Spartan figures. We have some Fortnite figures. Sponsored in the search for um, Halo action figures. We have a banished ghost. Does the ghost look shoddy? It looks okay. There's an elite warlord. That's a pass. The yeah, ghosts take up too much um, real estate on the shelves. We have a Sentinel. He's not derived from um, the Halo series. He originates from Fortnite, but he looks like he can be wedged into a prodigious Halo action figure collection because he has this futuresque robotic um, design to him. Superman um, Unchained donning this um, bulky armor. That's an extraordinary figure. More Halo figures. We have some McFarlane toys. 10th anniversary Halo figures. I'm not too keen on buying figures of the human characters, so that would be a pass of that um, set was $30, but probably retailed for closer to $45. Who knows?
Marmot's Town was a search. More McFarlane toys figures. This Jerome, my team leader. Mark IV, I think. My Master Chief. I mean, they are extraordinary, but I would deem um, the figures derived from the Jasper Spartan collection to be an upgrade over the McFarlane Toys figures, just on the basis that they're closer to 7 inches tall. The McFarlane Toys Spartan figures are presumably around 5 to 5.5 inches tall. Maybe possibly slightly shorter than 5 inches. I'd have to measure them. And they're also susceptible to break in. Here's some McFarlane Toys Halo figures. Too bad they're discontinued. 120 for a set of five. And twenty dollars plus sales tax each, especially with another Master Chief figure in the um lot that you more than likely already have. Well it's actually more than that when you factor in the shipment costs. Be closer to I think one thirty three plus sales tax, over hundred and forty. Probably closer to twenty five dollars per figure. It's a definite it's a definite pass, unfortunately. Actually I made a faux pas, it's probably closer to um Twenty-eight dollars per figure. When you factor in the shipping costs, in tandem with um, the sales tax charge, it's probably going to be around one forty-two. Just because sales tax is so exorb, it's so exorbitant to um, pay. Alrighty, we have Power Rangers figures. They're populated in the search for Halo figures. We have an invisible or um camouflaged Eva armor bearing to the standard um Mark IV. I'm not too fond on buying I'm not too, I guess you can say, adamant about buying the um, camouflage Spartan figures. And I'm not too fond of the notion of um, buying more and more Master Chief figures that are negligibly nuanced relative to the Master Chief figures that I already own. They just wedge a Master Chief into so many um, figure packs. And it deters people from buying those figure packs because as much as they love the army builder figures, they don't want to buy another homogeneous Master Chief figure. And even if it is negligibly nuanced, it's not enough of an incentive to entice someone to buy it. Even Enforcer figure from the Fortnite um, action figure line. We have a pink Spartan action figure. His face is completely obscured by his helmet. The 47 plus shipping plus sales tax, almost $60 is a definite pass. The Arbiter, dual wielding two swords, he'd be worth $10 plus sales tax, or even $15 plus sales tax. But not at um, 352. 22 plus sales tax would pay close to 370 for an Arbiter figure. It's not even as tall as the Joyride Studios Arbiter. So, in retrospect, we were able to stumble upon one Stellar Dio, actually, two Stellar Dios. You can get the UN SC Marine three figure pack as well as a um, three figure pack of villainous Halo characters, which feature the um, two grunts in tandem with the um, elite mercenary figure. 
And these are um, Amazon exclusive figures, but you can't go wrong buying um, this three pack of your Keenan army building um, armies of grunts and covenant elites. So I hope that you found this video to be insightful and enthralling. And ten dollars plus sales tax, and maybe who you to buy some. A ten dollars plus sales tax per figure, and maybe who you to buy some elite figures and grunts and UNSC Marine figures if you want them as well to add to your dioramas and epic displays to flaunt on your shelves. Once again, I hope that you deem this video to be intriguing, engrossing and informative. Have a blissful day. Goodbye.